Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to hack slash bypass family safety. So to get started, you're going to need to download some third party operating system. For example, um, Pardon Magic, anything Linux, basically something you could move your files. You could like use to move around your files. This thing has more than you need, like more stuff than you need. So, um, yeah, just anything. I, prefer like I prefer Linux so some like tiny core Linux if you want the installation to be quick um this is kind of complicated and annoying so I would use like damn small Linux or Ubuntu Ubuntu takes a long time so don't use Ubuntu yeah so I was saying use damn small Linux that's pretty good like you're gonna need to know how to install this stuff so yeah, like, um, watch another video if you want to know how to install something on a USB. You're going to need a boot from it, and, um, that's all you need. You, like, yeah, if you don't have, like, a computer you could use to install on your USB, then you're going to, like, need to ask your friend or, yeah. Right now I'm using Hiren's Boot CD. It's pretty good. It has parted magic built in, so you should use that. Um, it, you could also hack a lot of stuff and just download it. Oh, yeah, that's an ad. Almost got fooled. Yeah, I click on that thing to click on it, save the file, download it, and burn it onto your USB. So once you're done that, you could go get started and like move your files and stuff hey guys I'm back so um yeah I can't record while I'm like on another operating system so what you're gonna do is I'm gonna use 7-zip for now to show you what you're gonna do is you're gonna essentially what you're doing is replacing the ease of access center with CMD you could do it with sticky keys and stuff, but no one, do, like, it doesn't, sometimes it doesn't work. I don't know. I, I just like the ease of access center because you can just click on it. So you go to Windows and System32, if I could find it. Um, and uh, then you look for cmd.exe, if I could find it. And once you do that, you copy, you copy it to, like, um, you copy it to somewhere. I copied it to my desktop and in like a folder and you also copy utilman.exe so copy both of them utilman.exe and cmd.exe copy them both into your into another folder preferably in your account and just yeah you copy those and after you're done that you go and rename cmd not rename you yeah, cmd to utilman.exe and like copy another and copy it to your system 32. So the thing where you copied in, that's like your backup just in case. Just in case you want to like um restore it or anything. So yeah. Copy it here. I already have it copied because I used it right I actually installed this. I installed like the recording stuff without admin. I actually don't have admin on my computer and I have a lot of stuff installed like Steam and stuff. So that's pretty much it. You could like you could like do pretty much anything because once you open CMD you could access everything. You could open applications, you can install stuff because when you click on it you have like full admin and everything because it's, I don't know, I, I don't know why, but you just have, like, administration. You actually have more privileges than administrator. You can do a lot of stuff. See? It opened as, um, opened as CMD because I changed it. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. For the rest of the video, I'm, like, copying stuff around, but I think you guys get the point. Um, yeah. Just, yeah, so the ease of access center is like 
that thing you click on that gives you all these options and stuff. Yeah, I think I could show you later. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I meant to release this earlier, but I was too busy playing CSGO. You guys should play it. It's a really awesome game. Yeah, I'm using Sunzip, so yeah, you just need to do that in your operating system you booted from. Sorry for the bad um quality, but I'm on my phone right now. So um yeah, that's the ease of access center. See it open CMD. Now you can type in stuff. Um I suggest you to learn some um commands so that you could um like navigate around better and if you're like so the main thing you need to know is where your web browser is located for example I'm using Chrome so I'm gonna go to Chrome which is in program files x86 um, Google CD Google change directory Google then CD Chrome and CD application. If you don't even have um, Chrome installed, then Chrome.exe. Then you're gonna need like to know where Internet Explorer is. Open it and then find like where where like yeah where it is and stuff. So yeah. And you can download stuff and install it, just run the exe, go to your downloads folder or, and change like the download location in Chrome and run it and you can install it and run it from your account or just run it from here. And basically you have like, you could do everything you want with like this. You could do like, yeah, this thing is awesome. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Okay, bye guys, see you next time. Okay, hey guys, I decided to film how to like install it. If I'm using part of Magic right now, so that you enter your BIOS and boot from your USB. And right now, I'm gonna use part of Magic. It's kind of bright. Well, yeah, basically, I'm using part of Magic, and this is Hiren's boot CD, so it's pretty good. And take some time to um start. I'll just go back on when it's done. And it's starting. So all you need is a file browser, which is here. Um, go to your main operating system thing, which is the Windows one. And it's in Windows uh, System 32. wait there's a lot of files so it's gonna take some time it's normal okay go to CMD so CMD look for it
Yeah, basically you get the point. Press, go to CMD. Is there like a search option? Oh. File search, yay. CMD. And IPXE. And U. Well, whatever, you get the point. So you copy, you find both of them, you select both of them, you copy it somewhere here, I'm too lazy to look for it. And then you copy it into, uh, the, yeah, copy it into, like, users. This is the user's basically a shortcut. Desktop. And like, yeah, so. Desktop. I made a folder called Tools Backup. And I copy both of them here. Just copy this. Copy cmd.exe. Copy it over onto your desktop. And rename it to utilman.exe. And it should be there. And then, yeah. It should be there. I just rename it to utilman.exe. Like I did here. And just copy that. And uh, paste it in. Yeah, it'll ask if you want to overwrite it. Click on overwrite. Yep, and that's pretty much it. And you can restart now. The other um, part of Magic thing has a lot more stuff in it. And unplug your USB so it doesn't boot from it. And part of Magic runs from the RAM, so basically you could uh, unplug your USB while you're like, while you're still running it. So that's what's awesome about it. And now you could do like what I showed you. Right? Yeah, I kind of screwed up, so. Tried to insult Android a bunch of times and failed. And yeah, just click on it, do all your stuff. Bye guys, see you next time. I smell like me!